Hey guys, I'm doing Crypto Kid, bring another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I just want to go over some jobs and just explain what the jobs are, what the job duties are, job responsibilities. So we're going to look at jobs online on Indeed. Um, and I know someone's probably going to, because last time I made a video on this, someone's like, oh, Kim's looking for a job. I'm not looking for a job. I'm just looking at jobs online and telling you what you should work on if you're trying to get that job. All right. I should know what channel you're going to do. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. All right. So let me share my screen. Uh, let me look. I like to look at jobs on um, on Indeed usually. So, so this is like some of the, like some of the, I'm going to search like help desk. If help desk makes sense. Um, so I'm going to go to help, I'm going to type help desk in here. I'm gonna kill my Discord because my Discord keeps coming over a thousand notifications. Let me share my screen. Okay. So this is job right now, like paying thirty-eight thousand dollars or urgently hiring. Let's look at this one. Uh it's asking for active directory experience. You can learn that on your own. Um thirty-eight thousand dollars, two years of experience or combined experience, training, active directory, network admin. Associates in computer science management. There's not really a lot of information, but I think for someone that's brand new, they should definitely apply for this job. Let's look at the next job. So this is help desk support specialist. Security plus required for this job. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's a government agency job. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Train users. Phone response. Fax. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Provide touch and provide total training steps. Meeting with customers on a regular basis. Customer service. Yep. So for package utility for deployments, I'm not sure. Maybe they're using like SSEM or third party tool to push out software. Um, security technical implement implementation guns and stigs. Shout out to Professor Blocka, offices into SIGs. Um, let's see, install new computers per NEC. Uh, provision and typing. He's also asking for a bachelor's degree, some sort of degree in information systems or computer science or something like that. So anyone saying, oh, uh, oh, I have a degree, it doesn't, I don't, the degree is not gonna help me. Like, look at this job, like if you have a degree, it definitely is gonna help you. Is asking for four years of experience for some reason. Uh, it's a UD plus. Is asking for MDAA associate certification. Um, troubleshooting Windows, the 10, 11, Office 365, Citrix. General idea of networking, things like that. Yeah, so I I, I kind of knew this was the Department of Defense. I'm like, I ha this has to be like the Department of Defense because no way it's asking for security plus. So this is this makes sense. All right. We'll go to the next one. Desktop support engineer. Oh, look at this. So that's just I have a I have a person that I'm training right now. Let me see if let me see if they're able to do this job. Maybe they are able to do this job. So some guy that I'm training right now. So uh entry level position. Yep. Yep, this makes sense. Land, cabling, phone. All right. So I, I am gonna save this job. I think he could he could definitely do this job. Uh VMware. Experience with Cisco. He has he has he has networking experience. So he should be voice voice over voice over IP. Yeah, he could definitely do this job. I'm gonna forward this over to my buddy. So I'll send that after after this video. But um, let's look at the next job. So this is an MSP company. So MSP support. Um, typically MSP companies pay a pay a little bit more, and they require you to do a lot more. But it's a great learning opportunity. I made a video on MSP companies before. I definitely recommend if you want to learn a lot, I would recommend working for an MSP company. That's just my experience. It could be very um, fast paced for someone that has no experience. So like, it's good and bad, but it's good experience to have on the resume. Uh, work from home days, growth opportunities. Uh, eight hour. Okay, so they want help us experience two years, and then two years of Windows experience. So probably Windows ten, Windows eleven, maybe Windows Server experience. It doesn't specify like 
Let me just maybe show more. It doesn't specify exactly what what do they want. Specifically, what I'll do is if I see a job like this and I really want this job, um, and it looks like the job is, looks like the the company maybe has a website. So it says they have like what one bad rating, one good rating. So, um. This is the website right here. Uh, let's see if they have. Uh, doesn't appear to have a careers page. I'm looking for a careers page. Specifically, they have a careers page. It doesn't have one for some weird reason. Not sure why. Yeah, it's not. All right, that's fine. All right, we'll just skip that one for now. But I will look at their website. If it was me, I'll look at their website. That's just my opinion. Um, Let's look at another one. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying like, to stay away from New York because I'm I'm from New York. I'm trying to go over jobs that are not from New York. Um, page two. The brand new job, IT service desk analyst, fifty five to sixty thousand. That's pretty good, not bad. Eight hour shift, Monday through Friday. Uh, let's see what they're asking for. Looks like based in New York, so providing what level one, level two, third level support. They're asking for Office three sixty five experience and Active Directory experience. You have to be willing to travel twenty five percent. That's how a lot of these jobs. Like if you're gonna get a, a help desk job, like. I'm not saying it's impossible to find a remote job. I'm saying like the majority of the help desk jobs are are hybrid and maybe like one or two days, one or two days in the at home, and that's it. So anyone that is in New York could, could most likely do this job. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna look for another one. Let's go for that one. IT support specialist is looking like looks like it's requiring network plus. Um all the stuff that's asking for, I have experience on. That's why it's a it's green check mark. This is matching my profile. So it's asking for 50. This is going to pay 55 to 65,000. Uh, they're asking for VPN connections. So you're like, so you have to know about VPN virtual private networks. You have to know how to use tools like Remedy and Jira. So Jira is a ticketing system. They have Windows operating systems associated with software applications. I'm showing about firewall settings. You have to know how to collaborate with your team. Obviously, you know, it, uh, IT support is a team collaboration. Thing. So you have to get along with your co colleagues and team members. And uh, experience of customer service makes sense. Experience with VPN, that makes sense. Understanding firewalls, that makes sense. And this is like, this is confidential. This is like a private company. I'm not sure, but definitely I would, uh, if you ever have at least one year of experience, I would apply to this job. We'll look for another job. Uh, I think I'm going to do one more. And then that's it for today. And this is brand new. This is urgently hiring. So it's asking for VPN experience, software, troubleshooting, IT, security, ER, ERP systems. This is 60 to 75,000. And it's a managed service provider, another MSP. And it's asking for experience with resolving tickets, ERP solutions. ERP systems experience. And you can learn that in the job. They hire you, so it's totally fine. VPN troubleshooting. I have a video on this. Uh, repair, maintain, troubleshoot, desktops, laptops, phones, printers. Yep. Makes sense. Document, escalate, and track unsolved issues. Yeah, that makes sense. Help to ensure our tech setup complies with company policies or your report calls. Yep. Like, I, and I tell everyone, like, Certifications are good, but if you have a degree, it does help. Like again, this is asking for a degree. Another company that's asking for a degree. So it's like uh MSP experience. I'll stop sharing after this, but you can still get a job if you have a degree. Like you have a degree, like I tell everyone, like, um, just because I don't people gotta give me different comments and stuff. The more you have, the better chances of you landing a job, right? So like if you have a degree and you have A plus, 
it's good on it looks good on a resume. So like the more you have, the better. Like the guy that I work with, the guy that I trained, I got a job like last week. He literally got an offer letter last week and he started this week. And I'm not gonna mention his name, but he got a job. He had a he had a degree. And I told him to just wait a little bit because I think he should get the A plus as well to make himself stand out a little bit more because he already had a degree. I'm like, just you know, just do the A plus. If can you afford the A plus? Can you pay for it? So, yes, I could pay for it. All right. Just do the A plus then, you know, just take care of that real quick. So then I studied with him and I helped him pass the A plus exam and he got it. And then when he went to apply for a job, his likelihood chances of landing a job was pretty high because he had a degree and he had the A plus. And people were like, oh, you have both? That's awesome. We want you. We want you. And he had like a couple of job interviews, four or five job interviews. So he ended up getting a job. And um, so far, so good for him. So let's see what happens. I'll keep you updated on that gentleman. But let's see how it goes for everyone else. So hopefully that makes sense. Like, like I said, having a degree and a cert is valuable. Having one or the other, they're both valuable. Like, you know, you, you could increase your likelihood chance of landing a job. The more you have, the better, if that makes sense. So you know, it always goes back to the degree, the cert, and your resume. If your resume is bad, then you're not going to be able to land a job. Obviously, you have to have a good resume. You have to have certifications. You may have to have a degree, really, depending on the really depends on the company. And you have to have a solid portfolio with home labs. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.